teaching pronunciation, I think a lot of times we're dealing with the problem of intonation. So are there any good techniques that you use to improve learners' intonation in a, at a sentence level? Um, I guess my way of doing this is, although I don't actually teach a lot of uh, first year level courses here, um, I defer to my colleagues, uh, Zhang Laoshi and Gu Laoshi, they, they do a much better job than I am. Uh, but usually at the second year level I teach, um, I would really ask students to pay attention to the whole sentence. You know, In other words, they shouldn't just focus on each individual syllable. Uh, of course, you, they have to get the tones right, but it's also most important that the, the instructor tries to speak at a normal level as much as possible. Because if you try to slow down, especially at the uh, beginning level, if you slow down, your intonation is, has changed. So it's very important uh, that you, as a teacher, you have this um, habit of have a natural speed um, natural rate of speech when you talk to the students. And that way students get to hear this natural intonation, intonation a lot. And then they get a lot of audio, in, audio auditory input. So this is one natural speed. And also second thing is to really encourage students to use their ear to learn, uh, not to use their eyes to learn. So intonation they have to acquire through their ears. So that's my kind of um, two cents. Any um, other good advice? I would say that one of the, the one of the difficult things for American speaking Chinese is that the the range of tone, the tone performance range is about a third of the range of a native speaker of Chinese. So for an, a, a learner, American learner learning Chinese, emphasizing emphasizing the tone, tonal pattern in a sentence is extremely important and get them, you know, if, if they over, if they do too much, that's easier to fix than if they do too little. So that that's one thing. And the other thing is the backward build up drill. If you're looking at, at at tones, if you if you if they build up from the back, then the actual tone sandy works. But if you build a what you know uh, syllable by syllable, word by word from the beginning of a sentence then the, you run into problems with, uh, with, with uh, tone sandy. So uh, you know, backward build up and emphasizing, especially as early as you can, the a wider tone range and tones. If your students emphasize tones too much, that is a wonderful problem to have. <laughs>